boom, boom, there you go. Just keep waving it, waving it, and whenever you want, you can go ahead and spiral, load it to the top, and hit. One. What we're doing is we're delaying the load. Again, this is inefficient, which we'll get into here in a second. If I just start moving this laterally with no spirals yet, boom, mm. boom, boom. And again, slow-mo, I'm gonna keep this ball here. There I just moved this, the center mass of my ribs to my trail side. Boom, boom, see how the ball would respond. Mm. Boom, boom. It's not together, it's not arm line, it's center of mass lateral. Two points, the center of mass of the ribs and the ball, the middle of the ball. If you just start moving this laterally, so no rotation really, see how it's, it's, this distance has got, gotten bigger. Now if you start to spiral a bit to turn it over there, as soon as this starts to go that direction, this guy is like, nope, and it comes Get and recenters. Yep. One. There, good. Good, so keep picture. doing that. Yep, okay. exactly. Boom, boom. Excellent. Okay, it's like we're here. Boom. As soon as the ball starts going in the same direction as the sternum or the center of mass of the ribs, the ribs go the opposite direction. Okay. So I'm here. Oh, now they're all going together. Nope, I'm going here. Now it's going together. Nope, I'm going here. Boom, boom, boom. Great rhythm drill. So now if I toss this at you here, here. Now if I wanted to go ahead and spiral, in our definition, this is the finish of the backswing. This is the start of the transition. We want to load and load throughout transition. Got it. Load. Got it. Unload. So now I've got the unload in this phase. In the sequencing of the load phase. There you go. So you can see even here like a little bit more turn. TJ is damn near fully rotated in his chest and in his spirals, mm -hmm. and the arms are still down. Energy in that, the arms would continue to go up as he drops and recenters. Now, loaded, loaded. Or at the beginning of transition, they start their load. At the end of transition, they're fully loaded. At the start. I see. So this is actually more slacked out because it would be going this way relative to my midline. This way to there begin. Goes. There it goes, and it points over here. Goes that way. Hands are here. Now keep turning. See how it's out racing? Oh, I see it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, there we go. Now, now we're loaded. See how this now this structure got behind the midline because mm -hmm. it's pointing over here. Moves in front, now it's gonna move. Boom, behind. there you go. Exactly. Yes. And in delivery, whoop, this lead arm, if we just look at this, that's adducted, adduction. Now, if the lead spiral goes and I go into AB, there's a good solid hit. And the trail arm is in AB duction going into AD duction. Center of mass of your ribs is just on a clothesline. So there's not a whole lot that's so beautiful. Athlete. Okay, so now let's go ahead and drill this with a golf ball. Boom, boom. There you go. Just keep waving it, waving it. And whenever you want, you can go ahead and spiral, load it to the top and hit. One. This is an active arm load because I'm actively moving my arm. Mm. Compared to my arms here, if I just dropped and turned, that's a passive arm load. As the arms bounce up, they're starting to load. Mm. As I drop and go the other way, I finish the load. Got it. One. I see it. One. You won't be able to. See it bounce? Mm. Lateral, then spiral, then arms is what's happening. Lateral, spiral, one. Spiral, and you can see like with TJ. God, that was so good.